Chase, and uh, uh, we're meeting with uh, Fred Miller and Steve Shuey and Ronnie Friedrich, the three of us. And we're at the, the job site. So okay. go from there. Um, tonight, we're, we're, um, I hope we'll be able to go through some detail items that uh, Bob Jr. wrote me about. But to set the context for this, uh, several months ago, I indicated some frustration with the exposure of this unit to the elements mm -hmm. and, the length, and the length of time that this unit was taking and which caused more exposure of the interior, uh, especially the wood area, to the elements. Mm -hmm. Specifically, it, I became very intense once the, the uh, first floor got covered up and the swim spa got placed downstairs. Because at that point in time, I felt that it was time for the basement to quit taking on water. Mm -hmm. And there have been numerous times, I would say at least six times, that I'm personally aware of that the basement has flooded to the extent to where the spa has flooded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Many these have occurred after some framing below the level of the of that spa and there is some framing areas where it's my feeling have been underwater uh, in excess of 60 hours two floods ago i made the statement to bob jr that if the basement flooded one more time that i was going to cancel the contract mm -hmm. and my letter occurred after that one more time and that's the first time that i feel that i've gotten bob jr's attention that the basement flooding is a serious issue. I mean, he's running, he's running the project, and I feel that right. if I tell him something, then I've told the company something. That's right. Okay. Um, Bob uh, disagrees with me violently. Doesn't feel that the things that I have said have happened. My experience with Bill is pretty serious. That uh, um, lots of attempts to get rid of it don't get rid of it. I'm 99% sure that you killed everything that's visible. I'm extremely uncomfortable with what's behind the drywall. Now let's go back to, I think a week ago Friday, maybe two weeks ago Friday, because I'm losing track of time. Mm -hmm. But the last flood that caused, the, that caused me to take the position mm -hmm. I take. Mm -hmm. The rain occurred, I believe, on a Friday night. I came in here on Tuesday. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. I got this this 
person. Well, he mailed that out. He did mail it. He also was aware that I was gone. He was also aware of phone numbers that he could leave messages at, and he also told me that he would be attempting to contact me. And I got nothing. I, I, I got a, not a zip, nothing. I got a back door. I don't know. I can't speak for Bob on that. And, uh, and, I, and I don't want to, don't want to uh, damn Bob outside of his presence, but I don't want to do it. I don't believe Bob. So how, how can we proceed? I, I, I guess I, assuming that I can work with my spouse, which at the moment is not easy, I can tell you that there's things are not quiet at home. objective third party has got to represent to me that there is no damage. We're into the penalty phase. Mm -hmm. We all know that. Starting the 24th, yes, it doubles to 100 days. I don't understand why. You say there was a completion date of when? February 15th. Is that right? But I, well, but I asked to have delayed to March 1st. I think what held up the sheetrock was the focus on other projects. I really believe that, Steve. <laughs> Why would I say, you know, it's okay to have a difference of opinion as long as the other party doesn't mind being wrong. Finally agree on this thing, and we actually, I think it would be a good idea if we actually signed our name to it, as to we have a new, a new moving date. How about it? Can I give me a date? Can I give you a date? Oh, yeah. sure. I, I, I just want to know a real date. With that in mind, if this is a ten dollar pump, this deserves to be a hundred dollar pump. Yeah. You, you've got to admit this has had a lot of attention and we didn't we haven't accomplished what we tried to accomplish. 